simplify it with python this is going to be the second video in this series and in this i'm going to explain you a very interesting thing and most frequently used which is one to multiple excel what is that exactly let's understand that here we have one folder in which i have a file which is called supermarket sales and that has the data looks something like this which has one which has one column named product line and that has these many unique values the number of total items in that particular variable is six now what is it that we want we want a separate file for each of those unique value created in this particular folder which is output which should look something like this hello everyone welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so to do this thing we require a couple of items first thing which we need as we saw that one input file which is in our case going to be supermarket sales xlsx file second one is we require input location where this input file exists then we require the variable name in which we want to look for unique value in my case it's going to be product line then we require the unique one list of unique item in this particular variable which is going to be this and then the output location where we want to put these all files and last but not the least and most important thing that is approach how you wanna approach this problem problem statement right so let's jump to the jupyter notebook and try to see and understand how we're gonna do this all right so here we have divided this particular project in five stages which is going to, which are going to be this so let's follow them one by one first thing which we need to do is import all the required libraries in our case that's going to be pandas as pd then import os import numpy as np though numpy will most likely not be used but it's just in my habit then we need to import that excel file that input excel file which we want to split in multiple items uh, or in multiple files based on the items so for that i'm going to create a data frame and here i would say mart and pd dot read excel because that's an excel file and in that i will put the file name along with the location let's jump to the here we have two folders one is input the other one is output in input we have our file which we want to put there and in output it's completely empty right so here we would like to create all those files now here again i will just take the location and i will go back to the here i'm back in jupyter notebook and then i need to put the location which i just copied and then I will just change these backward slashes with forward slash and here at the end I need to put the file name so let's copy the file name from location well so here we have the file name that I will just copy it and then let's go to the Jupyter notebook and paste it here I'm just going to paste it and then the file type which is xlsx in my case right and let's see if that is imported properly or not oops please bear with me and here it's boom the file is properly imported right now the next part comes in is assign the output location where we want to export the data so for that i will create a variable which is called outlock and in that i will just put this location because i remember i just showed you the location it's going to be the same is just in place of input I need to say output so from here itself I'll copy that part and here I would say output so the location is created next thing it says and list of unique values in Python variables so we want to split basis on this particular variable so we need to take the unique values list of unique values in this particular variable how we gonna do that like this I'll just show you that we will create one 
variable which is called unival and in that I'll say the data frame name and which column I want to use product line and then the formula function which I'm going to call is unique all right guys now we will see if unival has the correct values or not bravo now we have the list of unique items in product line variable next thing what does it say it says filter the data basis on listed items and write to excel file manually so first we need to filter this marked data frame basis on each of the item we have available in this list so first item i'm going to pick this one equals to my data frame name then again my data frame name and then the variable on which I want to apply the filter that's going to be product line and here what is it that I want to look for is this particular value this is the particular value which I want to look for if you want to learn in detail how to filter the data frames or do the slicing and dicing in data frames do not forget to watch my video clicking the link showing just at the upper right corner right here all right so this will just filter our data and we will see how does it looks like so here if you see in product line we would have only one item that is food and beverages now the next part which comes which sees over here is write to excel but before doing that let me create a variable for path in that i would say os dot path dot showing and in that i will say the location location is outlook and then i will put the file name why i'm doing it this way because i need to make it dynamic so that's why first i'm trying to show you it in manual case so the file name which i want to keep is this and then the extension i would require to use that will be xlsx means the file format when i say extension that means file format now the file which i want to export is this one and then i need to call this excel to excel that is used to export the data in export data frame in excel format if you have not learned enough about how to export the data do not forget to click the link showing just at the upper right corner right here and to understand how do we export the data what are the different ways now we will just put the path which is location boom wow it just throws an error what is the error that we will just try to see no engine for file type colon let's in this well so let's see the problem again here the problem is here it should not be comma that will be plus all right now let's execute this who now let's go to this folder and try to see if that file has been created with this name or not well like you can see the file has been created over here and in that if you check out the product line variable just over here it has only one item bravo so this is how it can be done now the only thing which we need to do is automate this what we just did we need to automate that let's go back to the jupyter notebook and try to see how can like here you can see the fifth fifth stage says automate this right so for that we will say for items in uni val this vari this variable all right here we are saying look here we want to say that do this activity whatever activity we are just going to mention next repeat that activity for each of the item in unival variable right so what is it that we want it to do so we want it to create a data frame here we would say just df and here here we want it to create a data frame for each of the item in product line so here i would just say items now this will create the data frame next step will be creating the path what is the location that we want to create so in location everything will remain same it's just 
we need to make this thing dynamic okay so in that we will just put it items so if you only print items that will only print this plain value but we also require the quotation in the beginning and at the end of this food and beverage so for that reason only i am using str function over here now once that is created the path is created the next step comes to export the data so which data we want to export whatever is stored in this df right and then sorry and then just here yeah sorry for that now then we need to just say to excel excel and in that the location that we need to provide along with the file name will be path in path everything has been stored now when you export the data by default pandas export the indexes as well so here i'm gonna say index equals to false now let's run this will that work what do you think let's try if that works or gives an error oh it just gave an error i terms is not defined of course i terms is there is nothing called i terms it's just items right let's run this wow it just worked let's go to the output folder and see if that has wow bravo congratulations viewers all the files have been created over here now if you want you can just open each of this file and you can see if that has the value for this particular product line or not well so this is you just saw how you can split one excel file into multiple excel file and you can just use this technique i will provide the script link for a script from which you can download from our github page and you can practice this practice 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 as much as you can and in the next video we will cover how you can combine multiple excel file in one thank you very much for watching the video